Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie. Be sure to subscribe if you like me. And today, I'm going to be doing a belly casting kit video with the pear head belly casting kit. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. Little quick story time. This video is going to be up before my video that I filmed before this one. It was going to be uploading on Monday, but I didn't have enough storage in my phone to film the voiceover for that video. So I was going to back up my phone and then film my voiceover on Tuesday. But then I started backing up my phone on Monday and it's still backing up. Today is Wednesday, by the way. It still has about eight hours left or something like that. So I'm just going to do the belly casting kit video today because it actually came in the mail today. So I thought perfect timing. At least I can get a video up. Let's just get started. Belly lubricant. Used pretty much all of it, and I think we're good enough in that department. Let's get started. He's having a hard time pulling it through the water. I wish I could show you, but I can't. Looks like they should overlap. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I wonder if this will get hard to breathe after a while, when it starts to get hard. I don't know. And strict to the belly. I'll stand up. Being probably in there, like, what's going on? It's getting real warm in here, boys. Okay, hopefully. It's a good thing we decided to put the plastic down. Should we just use all of these ones? Yeah. And then just, I mean, it's enough to cover your belly, so. And then if you feel like you want more in two minutes. Well, we're gonna have to do more layers. Well, there's still a lot, man. We're, these are getting ready. This is gonna be one of the last strips. This might actually be the last strip. Oh, it's sagging. Oh, is she sagging? Oh, come on. We don't want no saggy strips. <laughs> It's sagged. <laughs> okay, we'll hold that up there. Yeah. Come on. Now this one's like done. Well, I just want to get rid of that one. Yeah. Goodbye, strip. That one just pulled it up weirdly. Okay. Sag like you're. Buddy over there. Okay, I got both ends. Maybe if I go underneath my Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Do we really want to get that? Get one more strip down there and then start layering. Mm -hmm. Is it rubbed in down there? I can't see. Kind of, yeah. Just do a little more. But don't say, but come on. Ah, this one's sagged. Whatever, we're gonna put it down anyways. Let's try to get this side. That should be good, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can start layering. Yes. There's a little spot of your skin there. Wait, I got it perfect. Perfect, I know what to do. Is 
Because we're doing the top again. Like really warm. Well, the water was warm. I didn't have a like, scorching hot. That's probably your body heat. Okay. You're a very warm individual right now. Usually you're cold. I used to be freezing all the time, and then since being pregnant, I've just been really, really warm 24 7. <sighs> 10 minutes? No, because I don't know what time it is. 10 minutes. Like eight. It's been like 8 minutes. I think she'll pop off just nicely. That's the, that's the chair, right? That's not your belly cracking like that? No. Do you need help? No, I'm not sure which is that. Look at that. We're gonna put somewhere nice to dry. Yeah. <laughs> your belly button increase. I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah. Looks nice. Yeah. Uh, we gotta put that somewhere to dry for a day now. Yeah, now we can dry for a day and we can paint it. Wash off the belly now and clean up the big mess we made. A short little Q&A. Do at least one more before baby K comes. So I'm just going to get right into it. Miss, how did your friends react when you told them you were pregnant? Did you lose any? No, I actually didn't lose any friends. They all responded really well. They were all excited. Um, they all wanted to be like, so yeah no I didn't lose any friends they're all really supportive they're all really excited and that was really nice having a baby shower the answer to that question is yes at first I didn't think I was going to get to have one and then we planned on having one after he but now there's only nine active cases of the virus where we live in our whole province people got raised so I am yes having a baby shower it's not gonna be a huge baby shower but I'm at least having a baby shower huge one anyway because I do get kind of anxious around people especially like opening gifts around people because I always I don't know if anybody can relate to this or not but no matter how grateful I am for the gift it's just really hard for me to express that when I'm surrounded by a lot of people so having less people is actually better for me yeah I am having a baby shower and I'm really excited for it weeks before he comes Boy, taking your last name or Tyrese our last names and then when Tyree and I get married we will drop my last name out of his name and just change it to Tyree's last name. We do that when I go to change my last name after we get married because we'll already be in the process of changing a name so we'll just change his as well but before we get married he's just going to have my last name. And the next question is what day do you think baby K will come? I don't know I feel like he's going to come a bit before his due date. I think maybe like the week before his due date or a few days before his due date. The first date I got told as my due date was the 28th, engraved in my mind, and I keep feeling like he's going to come on the 28th. But I also feel like he could come around the, the 22nd-ish. I'm not sure, and I guess we'll see my due date. Who knows? I really hope I don't go past my due date, but he'll just come when he's ready. Somebody asked, does the and father yes, support I'm you? Agree. Still, we've been together for month it'll be five years we've been together june 19th will be our five-year anniversary and yes he supports us a lot boy he can't wait most of the baby things i bought a few things but he's the one who spent the majority of money because he had a full job and i wasn't really making a ton of money so he paid for most of the baby supplies he spent i think two thousand dollars or more on baby supplies so 
yeah, he basically got us all of the necessities and I'm just buying a few more things and I'm buying the baby monitor, which I still have yet to get, but I'm waiting until I get paid again. College plans. And I do plan on going to college, but I'm going to do online college. I'm going to do photography again and maybe incorporate some graphic design in there. But I just think that online college would be best for me because then I can be home more with baby K. And the big social interaction aspect of college when I was there is what really made me struggle the most. I cried a lot at college because I just kept getting stressed out about the amount of people and how big it was. So I think online is just a better fit for me. So I'm saving up for a laptop that I'm going to buy around the time when I buy the baby monitor. And after I buy the laptop and get everything set up with baby K, I will start applying for online college. Kyrie has also um, changed his mind on college. He wasn't planning on going to college, but now he may also do online college for video game development and testing, which I think is super cool. So yeah, that might be his plan. The next question is, do you have a place picked out and when do you want to move out again? We do have a place that we're looking at and we're thinking about. It's not where we really want to live, but for a short time and like while we get more stable and get more income coming in, it might work out. It's pet friendly, which is really nice. It's a really modern, like new apartment. It's just in a location that would be unideal for us. Might try it out there anyway. We're going to move in the fall time. With Tyree getting laid off due to the virus, we might have to push it back a little bit and move around winter, like my birthday is in January and we're hoping to be moved out by then. So yes, we do have a place in mind and we plan on moving around winter-ish. It's just going to look for a new job instead of waiting for his other one to call him back. So that'll be a whole process on its own. And the last question is, are you leaking yet? Um, sometimes I don't leak a lot, but sometimes like when I get really warm, I do leak just a little bit. So I have those like breast pads, but I'm sure once he's born, I will leak a lot more. And that is all I have for questions. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and follow Tyree's Instagram. Both will be linked down below and I'll see you in the next one.